welcome back to the subscriber trail where I let you guys choose what I build. Last time in this series, you guys had me build a log jump that got turned into a rib cage slash centipede looking thing. <laughs> Either way, it turned out really rad looking, but our landing ended up being a bit off. Regardless of me not landing properly, I still had you guys vote on what should come next. And with 75% of the vote, you guys went with the shark fin. So in this video, we'll be fixing up the spinal gap landing and building the shark fin. But before we do, let me just say a huge thank you to Skillshare for supporting this build. They're an awesome online learning community for creatives, but more on that later. Let's see if we can fix this landing. Okay, so we're out here at the jump. I've got the skid steer. There's the landing. It needs to come in. I'm pretty much gonna take it up to this tree here. Got a lot of choices. I got a lot of ways that I can go. I hear a lot of voices. They have a lot to say, but I've known. Been here before. Yeah, I do recognize the tiny There's marble floor. And I don't need my eyes to see what lies. could probably be a bit steeper, but compared to how it was riding before, this thing feels incredible. In fact, the whole trail is really starting to feel awesome. I'd say the only thing that was giving me troubles was the last berm, but I decided to ignore it like the dummy I am and pressed on to making the shark fin. I think we're pretty dang close as far as to what our shape's gonna look like. Got a pretty decent looking shark fin. It's not like a big gap or anything, but I don't know how much speed we're gonna have. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean up into the shark fin, make it look nice and sharp, nice and shark. <laughs> shark fin nearly done, I wanted to test everything first and make sure I was going to have enough speed to ride this thing before I started the arduous task of packing everything in. But remember how I said that last berm seemed a bit off? Yeah, that's because it was. And, <sighs> this ain't good. Nope. Nope. Can't hit that berm hard enough. We got a problem, everyone. Uh, I just rode it a couple times just to see like, if I was gonna even have enough speed. I don't have any speed. As I kind of figured, it's just a wall. So what I'm gonna have to do is not only make a bigger berm here, but I'm gonna have to cut through higher up. Luckily, our, um, our calculations were off on the, on the boner log, so we can bring our berm way higher up. What I'm gonna do is right about where I'm standing is try to bring it through over so that we get to carry all that speed, and I'm gonna try to make just a huge berm. This just turned out to be a lot more work than I was envisioning. Actually, I thought I was, I thought I was nearly done. <laughs> I should say, thank God I have a skid steer because this would be, for me alone, it would probably be uh, like a week of work, straight. <laughs> anyway, all right, let's get to it. On the outside, looking in, I really wasn't sure what I was getting. Between the highways, on the sea.
we are uh, at a point where I can stop and make sure that this berm is going to be the right one. Uh, we moved it. It looks like, I mean, it was over there by the tree. So we moved it like 20 foot or so forward. And it's about three times the size of what it was. So this ought to do it. Looks good. I l much more prefer how this looks. Hopefully it sends way better and you can hold speed through it. So let's give it a shot. Oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> I made an awful berm over there. This, it's like a highway. I can come into this thing as fast as I want. This is awesome. Woo! All right, let's finish that freaking shark fin and ride that sucker. Okay, so I've got this industrial sized sprayer um, and we're just gonna soak the crap out of this shark fin. And then we will pack it in with shovels and whatnot. But right now, I got three gallons in here. I'm gonna see if that does this whole thing. So hopefully it does. right amount that I needed so that's pretty cool damn yeah, that didn't do a thing <laughs> okay <laughs> round two learn from my mistake you gotta just really soak each spot so it's gonna take a lot more than three gallons to do this whole thing So I just got done spraying the whole landing. I want to tell you guys, cause I didn't know. I, I didn't know what this was all about as far as like watering stuff and then packing it. What I'm learning, I just want to relay it to you. Soak it a whole, whole lot. Let it sit for about an hour or two and then come back and pack it in with your shovel and make sure your shovel is nice and uh, there's no paint or anything on the back. Grind it off, whatever you got to do to get that paint off. Nice and shiny shovel, just like this. Learned that from uh, King of Spades. Go check him out on Instagram and YouTube. But anyway, I'm gonna let these soak and then we're gonna work on the thumbnail. I want to edge everything off with green leaves so that this thing really stands out. I'm gonna find some big fat um, hickory leaves because we've got loads of hickory around here. Um, and we're just gonna edge everything off. So it'll be pretty cool. Let's do it.
Look at that thing. <laughs> That's so rad. I love it. Now it'll probably only stay like that for maybe the rest of the day, maybe a little bit of tomorrow, but I imagine it will all be gone here soon. So cool to have something like that where um, it's not permanent, it's just there. There for a moment and then it's gone. Just like everything in the world. You know how it is here on Backyard Trail Builds. We get very deep, very philosophically deep. on a limb here and say that this is one of my best sections of trail I've built. <laughs> but what we built next might be even better, so I'll need you to stick around to cast a vote on what features you want to see next. But first, let me say a big thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring this week's build. So Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of classes on things like photography, music, illustration, marketing, video editing, and just loads of other stuff for creative, curious people. I honestly love it, and I use the app that comes with it quite often. Like right now, I'm learning about botanical drawing from Lisa Glanz. Um, I just grab my sketchbook, take my phone, set it up somewhere, and then follow along. It's super easy and I'm feeling more and more confident with my sketches. If you wanna join me, the first thousand of my subscribers to click the link in the description will get a two month free trial of their premium membership. So you, along with me, can explore your creative side. Okay, we've got some good options this week. The first being a big tabletop with a wooden jump. This would be a great option because it would not only keep the speed up for the trail, but it would give me something to practice on for larger jumps. Now, the second option is an on-off teeter-totter. This would be a great option because it would just be ridiculous. I'm not sure how well one of these would ride and how much speed would get zapped riding it, but it would definitely be an experience. <laughs> anyway, option one is the tabletop with a wooden jump, and option two is the on-off teeter-totter. Go cast your vote here, or go to the link in my description. Either of these options would be awesome, so I'm game for whatever you guys come up with. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. A huge, huge thank you to my patrons for all the channel support. You guys freaking rock. And let's build some more stuff next time. I'll see you then. Yeah! And those sends it awesome. Every time that dog goes off of something, it blows my mind. <laughs>